Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John and I are with Manny Pacheco talking about all things Hollywood that are mostly forgotten. Mostly forgotten, but not completely. Manny, you remember everything. Uh, no, I don't know about that, but uh, I try to uh, do my research. Let's just say that. So, Manny, recently uh, my wife and I were watching on uh, television, we we're watching one of the. Uh, um, it was a superhero movie with all of them saving the world. You know, a, a dozen superheroes come together in a movie to save the world. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, you know, these movies, th this particular movie where we're watching, wasn't that great. It, 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 granted, the whole world, the universe was going to collapse and whatever, and some bad guy was going to make everything disappear. But I thought to myself, you know, the bad guys aren't as bad as they once were. You know, back, back in the old days, there were villains that were really really scary and evil oh and they would do very malicious things as well yeah you're are right you saying, john, john are you saying that today's villains are not bad they're my bad <laughs> <laughs> today's villains are politically correct shall we say, yes. Is that what you're trying to say? i don't know well they, you know what they're all super uh, they were superpower hero villains that could destroy the world with magic and you know it just didn't do anything for me not like um um, Lon Chaney Sr. in um, uh, what was the one where he, he looked like a ghost? You know, he had a, a white the face. The, the, Phantom, Phantom of the Opera. Mm -hmm. Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. You no, know? you're right. I mean, there are, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of villains throughout the, uh, throughout the ages. I can come up with three or four that I'm happy to share with you. But I'm, I'm curious, before I start... Who you might think really some besides Lon Chaney, some more recent maybe villains you and Art might th say would be the, the more recent uh, villains that you liked. Art loves his villains. Uh, you know, I don't, I have uh, I don't want to step on any of your no, voices. You okay, I'll give you one that I don't think you've chosen. <laughs> one that you haven't chosen, who was really to me uh, a villain that. Was a, a one-off villain in Bound, the boy, the the uh, 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 Jennifer Tilly's boyfriend, who was a mobster, uh, cut off, put a guy's handcuff behind his back and clipped off his fingers one oh. by one. <laughs> That's what. That what was the movie? Bound. 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 Yeah, Bound. B o u n d with uh, yeah, with uh, uh, Jennifer Tilly. That was. Ah. That was probably one of the scariest movies I watched. It hurt, it hurt to listen to it. What was the What was the second one you have? And go ahead, step away. Yeah, Scarface, absolutely. Oh. The genre scene with Pepe Cerno getting his arms uh, cut off by uh, uh, a buzzsaw. What that, is this about appendages getting cut off? Boy, you just I'm just saying, you know, being cut off. <laughs> Okay, yeah. those are my those are my two. I mean, that was even scarier than The Exorcist. I'm gonna the call you Stumpy. Yeah, <laughs> you, got, you got one, John. I do. I, I have. Um, I, I forgive my brain for uh, going fading on me, but it's the um, lambs, uh, the Silence of the Lambs. What's the Hannibal? Uh, Hannibal? Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter. Lecter. Thank you. He he was a scary dude. <laughs> yeah. I, I loved it with some fava beans. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little scary. Keontae. Yeah, Anthony Hopkins earned an Oscar for that. It is a really scary film, uh, to be sure, and he really does carry that film in so many ways. Uh, for me, I like to go with the more traditional uh, gangster types or just traditional villains, but that's not to say they don't do evil things. I'm going to go with an obscure one, but it actually started the, the career of a very famous actor. He, exactly. it, it was his first role. He gets nominated for Best Supporting Actor for this role. And the character's name is Tommy Udo. And the name of the movie is Kiss of Fear. Yes. Kiss of Death. Kiss of Death. Kiss of Death. That's Kiss of Death. Kiss of Death. Tommy Udo. And if you don't remember anything else, he takes a poor woman that's strapped to a wheelchair and he tosses her down the stairs oh, that's to nice. her death. Oh, I know. It, 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 and he's got that... 
that slimy voice that he, yeah, you know, you know what I mean? I mean, he just, he would have this kind of talk. It was very, very good. And it, it began his entire career. And he had a long, long career. And wow. I mean, Richard Widmark's one of my absolute all time favorites. Now, more notable uh, ones, I loved James Cagney in White Heat. Oh, came on top of the world. Yes. Yeah. You know, he was so evil. And there's this one scene where he was almost killed by another rival gangster. So when they make their getaway out of prison, he takes that gangster with him, sticks him in the trunk of a car, leaves him there for like days. And yeah. when they're finally ready to get away, you you forget about the guy in the trunk. He finally you hear him. And he's and he's eating like chicken. Uh, James Cagney is, and the guy goes, "Oh, can you go? I can't breathe. Get me out of here!" It's, "Oh, you can't breathe!" And he shoots right into the car hole, hole so that he yeah. Can, but he's yeah. shooting at him, and of course he shoots him dead. That's a I bad mean, guy. Yeah, he's a really great bad guy. But for my money, I don't think there's anybody scarier or or meaner as a villain than Anthony Perkins in Psycho. Oh, that's true. Norman that's true. Bates. I mean, how do you top Norman Bates yep. for sheer terror? Yeah. And, and you know, Hitchcock had a gallery of, of villains. I mean, everybody from yeah. the Bruno and, and Strangers on the Train. And yeah. I mean, he had a ton of these really Raymond Burr and Rear Window. But really, his scariest, his scariest character by far was Norman Bates. Uh, yeah. and, and, you know, it was such a, an impressionable, iconic role that Anthony Perkins had trouble getting other parts after that role. I'll bet he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's typecast. That was uh, that for me was scary. Although I got to throw in also Robert Mitchum in The Night of the Hunter as the uh, as the evil uh, Harry Powell, the reverend yes. that has uh, good and evil. Good and his, hate. Yeah. Love and hate or good and evil on his finger, on his on his knuckles. And yeah. that was so iconic that uh, it, when you watch the Blues Brothers, actually Dan Aykroyd play, uh, paid homage by putting the same thing on his knuckles. Yeah. So, but yeah, he was really evil, and he slits the throat of Shelley Winters, ties her up to a car, and you, you can actually see her gutted down in, in, in a pond. It's yeah. really, I don't know how they got by the censors with that. <laughs> you know, you know also, it's interesting. I, I guess, today, some individual, individual ones are like Deliverance. Those are oh. pretty cool. Those were pretty cruel, uh, yeah. but it was a one. It was a one-off, so it, it wasn't like you know. Uh, it, it was brought back over and over again. Yeah. You know, there's a. I think there's a a line somewhere. I can't tell you where it is, but there's a line between the bad guys who are just uh, evil, and then there's the bad guys who are scary, and um, and they're they they may be evil. But they're they're designed to be scary, and the other bad guys are evil, and they're not necessarily scary. What's scary about them is you you don't they look almost normal. Norman Bates, for instance, mm -hmm. yeah, you don't you know Norman Bates is a little strange, but you don't know how bad this guy is, <laughs> right? Yeah, right? And that's what becomes scary. I think I think as much as I love the guys who um, the Draculas and and those people. Um, who, who, um, are, who are bad guys and scary. I think the real scary guys are the characters who look almost normal and then reveal to you that they're really evil. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take two cents here on sadistic. And Hannibal Lecter was sadistic. Yes. Uh, so that that it takes evil to a new level. Yes. Well, let me leave you with this one thought. I, as you know, I'm, I'm a voting member of the Screen Actors Guild. So, of course, uh, at the end of the year, I start binge watching entire series of, of movies or, or streamed movies. Right. I, n I never recommend for any of our viewers to absolutely stream the entire season of Dahmer. That's not going to do you any good at all. Oh. And oh. I made the mistake of doing that. And let me just tell you, that was not it, it, the performance was fabulous. It's a well-written movie. Wow, I, that that one I had nightmares, and yeah. I I don't like nightmares. Like yeah. yeah. I mean, he wasn't quite. He was kind of charming in his kind of a homespun way, 
But the brutal things he did, which fortunately they weren't too graphic, but boy, the inferences. Yeah. Your imagination can do far worse than whatever they put on screen. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't ever recommend you, um, uh, you know, binge watching Dahmer. That's that's something I don't recommend. <laughs> uh, no problem here. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. I'm 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 good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Well. You know, for those who, you know, aren't aren't faint of heart, I'm sure, as I suggested, they're going to just be, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, go against what I just said and go and do it. But don't really. Of don't, course. Don't. You're so. just tempting them. Well, That's look, here's to all the bad guys and villains in movies, because without them, we wouldn't have heroes. Yeah, we're, we, right. we just have we will have rom coms coming out of our ears. Yeah. Well, thank you, and I think that both of you are heroes, so I wouldn't put you in the category of mean villains. So on that note, thanks for having me on again, buddy. Buddies. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.